So, well, hi there, HDXF8. This is a video just for you, or, well, the others can view it as well. <laughs> it's about flyback transformer drivers. So the first circuit I'm going to show you is a really, really simple driver circuit, which is the BU208 driver circuit, as in this case you can use any transistor, or the transistor that is in the TV that drives the flyback transformer. And I've got this BU208 here, which is a flyback transformer driver transistor, and it's hooked up in a really simple configuration. So the minus from the power supply goes to the emitter from the transistor, the collector goes to the primary from the flyback, the original primary, the other side from the primary from the flyback goes to plus from the power supply, and then I've made a coil with 10 turns over the flyback transformer core, which acts as a feedback coil that goes with two 1 kilo ohm resistors in parallel, so 500 ohms, to the base from the transistor. And it's self oscillating, and let's see some sparks at 12 volt input. Okay, with more voltage, the sparks will get longer and longer, of course, but I'm not sure how much voltage this transistor can handle as input voltage, because from collector to plus, you don't have 12 volt. You've got pulses that are probably over 100 volt, far over 100 volt. I've touched it before with my finger here, accidentally, and it wasn't that pleasure. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the next driver circuit, which is a little bit more complicated and it uses two transistors and some other components, and so, as you can see, and it drives the flyback transformer as, at a defined frequency. And this is the schematic, I hope you can see it, and I've written down some types of transistors that will probably work with the circuit. And now I'm going to show you the first way to drive the transistor, the BU208, externally. That means that this circuit here is driving this transistor. And the, the flyback was driving this transistor before, but now we change that, and this transistor is driving the flyback at a defined frequency now. Okay, therefore I will also use another coil from the flyback transformer, because for some reasons um, you have to experiment a little bit with the primary coils from the flyback to get the best arcs. And now I'm hooking it up and I hope it works at the first time. Okay, that's correct. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, that's one thing I want to show you. So, tiny arcs, poor arcs, small arcs, flyback transformers are having a polarity. So if, you, if the polarity of your driver circuit to the flyback is wrong, just swap it, change the polarity, and it should work fine. So now change the polarity. Okay. And now let's have a look at the arcs. Oh, I can hear it hissing already. Isn't that better? Okay, now let's change the frequency from our circuit. Okay, now you probably can't... Oh. No, you can't hear the arcs. They are too high frequency, you can't hear the arcs anymore. Or better, the frequency from the arcs. And now I'll show you the last version, which is the most powerful version. It's so strong that my power supply even can't handle it. <laughs> and this is the version where you are using a MOSFET. So the output from our signal generator circuit goes um, to the input of a driver transistor, that which goes to a driver for a MOSFET. And you can use many MOSFETs, probably the RFP250, RFP460, whatever, but they will require a heatsink, I'm sure, because they have a big gate capacity. I'm using a IRF, an IRF530 MOSFET, which has a small gate capacity, and it works better. I'm sure it gets hot as well, but we'll only make a short run to demonstrate it, and then we'll switch it off again. Okay, um, I, re I rebuilt the circuit, 
for this experiment and I have to add one bridge that it works. Okay, this bridge must be here. Yeah, that's a little bit dodgy. Okay. Okay, um, now this is the last version, this version here, where I'm using a MOSFET to drive the flyback transformer. And let's see some arcs. Okay, ah, that's, okay, let's try it at another frequency. I'm using a lower frequency, so you can hear the arcs. Okay, watch these crazy arcs. Every time you hear it clicking, um, the power supply clicks because it's not strong enough. Although I cranked up the current to maximum, it's not strong enough to really supply the circuit. So um, this is my uh, flyback transformer drive uh, circuit circuits for you, HDXFH. And I would really like it if you rebuild one of these. So you have probably many circuit boards laying around where you can uh, take out the transistors. These small transistors here are standard transistors, so nothing special. They don't need to be powerful transistors. They need a, they neither need a heatsink. And these transistors here are also small transistors, as you can see. Um, okay, you should have MOSFETs in your power supply, um, computer power supply circuit boards, if you got some of them left. And yeah, as I said, I would really like it if you rebuild one of my circuits. Beste Guards, Stefan.